Tommy, I've never made it a secret that this is one of my favorite types of Jeep, the Jeep Gladiator. And this is a really good example of what you can do with the components that they allow you to buy. Yeah, so Nathan, this is the new 2024 Gladiator. It's got some big changes outside and in, and this is called the Jeep High Top Concept. So the folks at Mopar and Jeep Performance Parts partnered with a bunch of manufacturers to put this together, and a lot of the components you see on this Jeep are offered through Jeep Performance Parts that can be installed at your local dealer and are fully warranted, which is very cool. Spot on, my friend. And we are talking about a vehicle that is <laughs> way overbuilt. So there's a variety of different components on here that we're gonna take you through. And I think, Tommy, maybe we should start on the suspension. Yeah, so the suspension is very cool. So this Easter Jeep Safari is brought to you by our friends over at AccuAir. And AccuAir has developed a four-corner air suspension for Jeeps that allow you to go up and down but still retain the flex and the capability you expect out of a Wrangler. Uh, and by the way, this has it. Yeah. <laughs> so there you can see the airbags. There's one on all four corners. And what's cool is you have three preset heights. So we're going to show you how this works. I'm going to hop on in, Nathan. Start the vehicle up. And using this little controller, I can actually bring the whole vehicle down. And down we go. And as some people would say, oh my God. Yep, or we can go back up and it's a fast setup too, super responsive. And there's also an increased height if you really want to tackle some larger rocks. So AccuAir has a really cool system and now they've partnered with Mopar so you can get the system installed, for example, on a JL Wrangler at your local dealer. It's gonna be warrantied. A really interesting system. You know, we had experience with this on our JL last year. That's right. It allows a lot of increased flexibility with what you can do, but still offers that capability the Jeep is known for. That's right. Now, this vehicle does have an awful lot of goodies on it that you can get or that they're experimenting with. And I think we could start with the fenders and work our way down. What do you think? Yeah, so this is an experimental Jeep Performance Part flat fender, kind of a tubular design along the edges, but nice and thin to give you that extra clearance. Yeah, look how high it is off of this massive tire. How big are these? Dude, these are 40s. This is a 40 inch tire, 13 and a half inch width, rolling on an 18 inch wheel. Um, I mean, this is kind of now the standard at Easter Jeep Safari on a, on a Gladiator. It's just awesome. And at the same time, you're gonna have a really hard time with a V6 getting this thing up to speed. Okay, let's move on to let's move on to the step over there because that's really cool how it's integrated. Yeah, so this is another interesting product. These are rock sliders and they're intended for trail use, but they have a small component that pops in and out of the side. It's really so, fast. Look, if you want 40-inch tall tires, but maybe you're height challenged, both the Acura setup and these extendable sliders are gonna help you get in and out of that Jeep. It is really cool. Um, so let's move on the back. This is, I'm blown away by some of these toys. Let's move to the back though, because we got a couple extra things. Once again, another flat, fended, flat fender style right here. Yeah, once again, for added clearance to fit those 40s. I really like this retro graphic that they have going on here on this um, kind of orange tan against the black, looks great. And then in the bed, we're gonna find our deck system. We've got that kind of matte black tailgate and then that deck system allows you to, you know, carry more stuff. You know, it, it depends on your use case. We had that in our long-term gladiator. There are parts I liked, there are parts I didn't like, but um, it is an option if you want to kind of have more additional storage. And then of course, we've got the color match tow hooks, which is great. And then up front, one other thing, which is interesting, is we've got a AEV stubby bumper for added clearance. We got the worn winch, and then this is the new 2024 Gladiator grill in the black. Do you like the black grill, the old black grill? I, I kind of like this grill, you know what I mean? It, 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 it does look a little bit different, especially with this accent here, with the stripe here and yeah. the black. I think it really works, but not everybody's really in love with this. Yeah, and then also because it's a 2024, they've moved the antenna into the windshield so you can see those little orange lines yeah, up there. Yeah, I don't know too much if I like that or not. Considering how many windshields we go through in Colorado, that's a little iffy. And do you see that little camera, Nathan, up front there? Oh yeah, yeah. Do you see those little streaks? I think that's a heating element to keep the camera nice and clear. That is actually really cool. Kind of interesting, right? All right, well, let's hop in, Nathan. We'll get seat belted up. Oh, one other thing. 
Obviously, broken windshields are a problem, but this is the new Gorilla Glass windshield, which is supposedly much stronger than some of the outgoing ones. And then you got the new Jeep wipers there as well. Nathan, do me a favor. Yeah. Hop on in, start the vehicle up, and squirt the windshield. This oh, a, squirty time. Okay. This is a new offering from the folks at Mopar and JPP. If you go ahead and squirt it, you'll notice... Oh, yeah. The actual <laughs> fluid comes out of the wiper now, directly out of the windshield. Do it one more time. It's, it's See tasty. That? Look yeah. at that. Ford did that years and years and years ago. That's brilliant. Wow. So no more little thing that squirts over the windshield of the car behind you. Now it's right under the windshield. Nathan, another thing I'm noticing, power seats for this new 2024 Gladiator. Yeah, baby. Look at the, oh, this is comfy. With lumbar on the passenger and driver side. Now, Tommy, I don't think this is part of what you can buy stock, is it? Or is it? No, this is a special seat they have designed here. I really like this quilted leather with this kind of tan leather. I mean, it looks so It's premium. really pretty, and I gotta admit, it's actually pretty comfortable. So I'm gonna pass the camera over to cameraman dad. Hop on in. Man, those steps do make it easy. I'm curious. We have to test those out long term to see what happens when you jam them into rocks a hundred times. Right. I'm so far pretty impressed. Okay, how do I get out of here? Okay, so we're gonna go hard left. <laughs> hard left. Eventually, there it goes. Yeah, the, the power steering setup is definitely working hard with these 40s on there. Yeah, it's a little much for them. You wanna show the phone rack thing? Yep, so we also have this bar that kind of extends across the, um, the dashboard and then you can put your phone in this little clip like that. So if we were filming, for example, and we wanted to, uh, you know, get a nice shot out the windshield, if we GoPro mount, you could put it up there. I, I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm not very, um, I'm not very keen on this, personally speaking, guys. This is a very hard surface here, and between what little windshield you have and having this up there, it's like three things that I'm just not a big fan of. But I, maybe you guys are. Yeah, good point. And then this is the new 12.3 inch um, U Connect system in the new 2024. Gladiator, there's that front facing camera with the little cleaner so you can keep it clean. And then also one of the big changes for 24, Nathan, is um, the addition of side curtain airbags all the way around and all the yes, gladiators. Yes, that's correct. And they're integrated into the bars, aren't they? Yep. And then Jeep will tell you that the base price is, is uh, $37,000, which they claim is a little cheaper than the outgoing model year. Um, and they say you get more features for less money. Let us know what you think in the comments below. But this is by far not a $37,000. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're, we're in Raptor R territory with this at the very least, if not more. So what's really cool about this, Nathan, four-corner air suspension, do you feel how it just kind of floats down this trail? It's gliding over the rocks and everything else. Between that and these really spongy tires, yeah, yeah, there's, there's really, it doesn't seem to care. The only thing is, is that the engine speed a little overtaxed. Yeah, I mean, the 3.6, <laughs> 200 and I think it's 85 horsepower, 260 torques. It's uh, it's a lot, not enough. I mean, we've got 538 gears in these axles. I think these are Dana 60s, but you could probably use a little more oomph. This needs that 392. <laughs> it really, truly does. Yeah, for sure. But the uh, overall look of this vehicle is great. I love also the bikini on this. I do too. We got the Mopar half doors as well, so you can just enjoy the world as you see it. Stick your arm out. So a lot of cool features in this Gladiator at, of course, a big cost. And we're going to have a bunch more videos on the new 2024 Gladiator coming up shortly in stock form. So we're going to evaluate that. But in this modified form, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Well, what do you think, Dad? Are we good? Anything we missed? Got the thumbs up from my dad, so I think we're doing good. Folks, let us know what you think in the comments section. And Nathan, if folks want to find more info on Easter Jeep Safari, where do they go? They go to alltfl.com. That's right, baby. And as always, we'll see you on another video. Thank you.